Hiya, Paul. Morning. And this is, you're going to talk to us about eight changes post pandemic, yeah? Well, possibly. A little philosophy, perhaps, first thing. Yeah, that morning. sounds absolutely brilliant. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of me, and it's just going to be you, which is, which is what we want. <laughs> okay, I'm hoping you're sharing my screen now. Can you see that? There we go. So just very quickly, some ideas, perhaps, to, to tickle the brain first thing on a Saturday morning. But first, thanks to you and thanks to Ed and to everybody who's been involved in organising this. These things are really good. Um, and some of my thinking this morning has already been changed. I've changed some things I'm going to say because of the speakers beforehand. So really, I want just to ask um, eight points or bring up eight points very quickly to think about some things that may change. I like the speaker who was saying this morning about in trauma change as well as post-traumatic change. So the first these I think could be challenged are our core values. We've seen schools do amazing things in these few weeks, just incredible things, but they've not mostly been um, rooted around this idea of core knowledge. They've been about compassion, care, collaboration, community, well-being, uh, pupils' well-being and mental health. I think we need to hang on to these things. I don't think they were ever not there, but they've been forefronted in these last few weeks. And that's important to hang on to. Secondly, collaboration, not competition. There's been a real fracturing, I think, in the education community over the last 10 or 15 years with a push towards competition. Uh, that's league tables, it's between schools, between mats, et cetera, et cetera. And I think there's a move back. I'm hoping there could be a move back towards collaborative thinking, a real opportunity to collaborate between primary and secondary, secondary and primary, primary and HEI, HEI, etc. You see the ideas. The third of these ideas then is to think about um, our responsibility being more bottom up and not top down. A real chance, I think, for to think about the more vulnerable in society. We've really seen a focus on concern and uh, on care and vulnerability over these last few weeks again. Some amazing schools operating as food banks or care centres, really looking after the vulnerable. That's interesting. We talked about the children, not just of key workers, but vulnerable children during this time. I think that's really important. Schools at the centre of communities is something I'd like to see being re-established. Then we have the idea of a focus on public good and not personal greed. Again, moving away from these sort of economy ideas of you're worth what you earn to more of an idea of you're worth what you can do, the good jobs. Schools not being overly focused on examination results, although those are important, but being focused on the idea of the goodness in children, the ability to help, to care, to have concern. I'm rattling through these, but I hope there are ideas that you might pick up here that resonate in your own situation. So the fifth of these is the opportunity for the curriculum. Not to be, well, we've had this term, haven't we, rich knowledge, importantly recently. I think that is important, the academic but maybe a greater emphasis back on human rights, on the environment, on mental health. There's no doubt the COVID crisis is very dramatic, but the climate crisis which lurks alongside and behind this is perhaps even more so. To re-paraphrase a certain ex-Prime Minister, there is such a thing as society, and schools have a real place at the centre of that. Sixth, the important connectivity and our shared humanity. I think, again, we've learned with a global crisis, a global pandemic, that we really are part of a national, international, global community. Social media has exacerbated and shared that in a really meaningful way. But I think, again, we need to teach schools or schools need to teach their children to be part of this wider global community. Not just that local, not just about me and us, but about all of us in a more global sense. Oh, a bit too fast there. Sorry about that. Seventh, then, is this idea of the 1-1-30-60 model. This has been particularly secondary, but also in primary classrooms, the idea that you have one teacher for a lesson, 30 pupils, 60 minutes, this idea of sort of chunking up the curriculum. I think learning is a more flexible, anarchic, self-directed, synchronous, asynchronous, immediate and distance use. And we've really started to see that as people have had to learn at home in odd batches. We heard earlier today about learning just in chunks. Uh, of half the time you might spend at school. But also we're learning not just between nine and three, but early mornings, late evenings, um, online, offline, synchronously with parents in gardens, et cetera, et cetera. A real opportunity to fracture some of those very fixed models into much more flexible models 
and technology can be very supportive inside of that. And my eighth point then perhaps picks up on this, that the internet is no longer an optional thing. We've seen this. So schools, again, being part of the hubs and providing, but this is perhaps more a wider governmental thing to make sure that accessibility is available for all and available online. I realize it's a real scoot through, but I hope that at least one or maybe more of these elements that has moved you and that become part of a conversation in your real or virtual staff room or your common room or your living room. There's an opportunity here, I think, for teachers to take control, that bottom up idea. Is it time to hear the teachers sing? Oh, sorry, Paul. Oh, just rushed to the toilet. Whew, I just made it back. Thank you very much. Uh, you can see from the comments there, Paul, there's an awful lot of food for, thought, for, food for thought from what you were saying there. And I think it is a really brilliant opportunity for us to, to rethink education, the way we teach and uh, and the way we just, just go about things. So thank you so much.